This is Super M Giles. Giles coming at you with my second review and my latest piece. Yes, I'm late to the game. I realize the Batman PF has uh, been out for a while. My video is not going to be very long uh, because of that. It'll be short and sweet. Um, I know most of these videos that I'm posting, um, there's been tons of reviews on them. Better, there'll be better close-up shots and stuff like that, but I'll talk briefly. Um, first off, giving a shout out back to Geo Man and uh, uh, Yardman Five and Rad Titan and uh, and those guys. Also, Bruce Campbell's Chin. When I saw his Batman and his Superman together, I'd already ordered the Batman, and I was like, dude, I've got to get the Superman. I've got to have both of them together because they pop. Um, but uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've waited for this statue. For a very, very, very long time, and um, uh, it waited in the port of Long Beach for a while in a crate. As uh, most of you know, most of you have had pieces uh, that waited like that as well. And when I got it, I was a little, I was so amped up with excitement that I was a little bit disappointed. But as you can see, I'm excited. I'm a huge Batman fan, just like I'm a huge Conan fan. Um, and, uh, and this PF, honestly, the sculpt of it, what it actually is, uh, this is the, the, the comic Batman, this is Batman to me, don't get me wrong, um, the Michael Keaton Batman is awesome, um, but I don't, there's some awesome customs out there, but I don't know of a PF that, uh, a Batman that's as awesome as this one. Um... You know, this is number uh, 4,981. I actually thought it'd be closer uh, to the last batch of Batman. Uh, Batman, and I, and I thought that for some reason, perhaps mine would be better than everybody else's. Um, you still have some of the same issues. You know, the five o'clock shadow is really dark. It doesn't bother me much. Uh, the armpit issue is still there. They definitely could have done better. Um, they did better than the earlier ones for sure. This is definitely better than most of uh, the, the early ones that uh, are up. But uh, bottom line is, um, <laughs> this, is this is a nice, a nice statue. I'm trying to keep my cat right now, uh, Snake Eyes, uh, from uh, tipping over the bat. Um, anyways... He wanted to get in on the action. Uh, I may change Super M. Giles to Snake Eyes Productions. That's my cat right there. He wants to get in the middle of things. He's my producer. But um, I love the statue. I love the long-eared Batman. Uh, a little bit better than the pissed-off Batman. Obviously, both of them look awesome. But I don't think you can go wrong. If you're a Batman fan, you should get this. You can still get the regular. Um, when it's sold out and it's gone, there's going to be a buttload of people that wish they had gotten this Batman. Um, I think they'll make more in the future, but, but this one definitely is Batman to me. My only issues with this statue was I had a little bit of a chip in, on the sculpt actually here. And it's still got that leaning process, the, the leaning deal. They didn't do a great job of fixing that. And I had a little bump on his right arm. Um, but other than that, I'm really happy. I'll have this statue forever in my collection. Um, huge, huge fan of Batman. And I think this, for the price and the money, um, I think this is, this is probably you know, the best Batman out there. Uh, just my opinion, of course. But uh, like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think. Uh, I'll have a few more videos coming up of, of some PFs that I've bought, and some sideshow stuff, some statues, some swords. Um, I'll have the Iron Patriot uh, coming in here pretty soon as well. But um, I, I love this Batman. I'm stoked to have it in my collection. And uh, we'll do a couple of close-up shots and we'll be done.